Studying actuarial science means that giving up on all your hobbies and social life. Again, is this a myth or reality? I think it's a myth and a reality. Depends on how you take it. So, being an actuary is all about discipline and having a strong timeline for yourself. For example, if you study three to four hours every day, that's a very good number. But you have to study for three, four hours and then go enjoy cycle, go for dance classes, go for hanging out with your friends, chill. But if you take that as a priority, like I'll go six hours of fun and then I'll think about studying if I can, then it might get a little difficult. So if you're very good with your timelines and very disciplined and you can study on a day to day basis, I don't think you'll have to compromise your social life for it. But things get a problem or a little messy when you kind of uh, not manage things very well. And, and when you start working, like, uh, can you talk about from your personal experience, how was it different? Because you started uh, studying for actuarial science in your college. And then when you uh, started with your job, you had a lot of papers in hand still. So what was the difference as a student and as a working professional that you faced? And again, one more thing, uh, how important that, as you mentioned, it's very important to be consistent. So difference between a, you know, working professional and a student, how a student should balance and uh, the number of papers that they should cure in their college, how it will help them clearing more papers in their college, in their work later on. I think things do get different when you are working. And I think when you have a target of studying like two hours a day, you need to manage like you have to understand when you can study the best. Is it the morning or is it the evening? How can you manage your work with it? And there might be weeks then when you can't study because things are so busy for you. You might be relocating. You might be having a very strong deadline in office. But then there might be weeks when you have to make that up. You have to put in that little extra effort to get across. So, but I think as you grow up, you start working, you become more efficient. You start learning more and more. Uh, you have more practical experience which you can relate to and um, you meet a lot of people, you hear their thoughts. So that's actually helpful. That actually helped me because uh, I remember I was giving one paper at a time when I was in college, but I gave really like three papers or two papers in one sitting when I was in office. Uh, so it's I think it just helps you turn more efficient and more knowledgeable when you start working.